Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Art Room Organization. This is episode um, four, <laughs> stickers and die cuts. So when I moved into this new house and this new space, I literally, <laughs> yeah, I just dumped a bunch of stuff in this bin and this is how it's been in the cubby hole on my shelf in my art room. <sighs> yeah. So I think it's time to clean it out. Obviously the way I was storing these, they were in these little binders in the old space. They were on a shelf and I could just reach up and grab the binder and pull it out. It doesn't really work in this space. I may leave some in binders, and but it, obviously I have a lot. Obviously it's way too much and obviously what I was doing doesn't work. So I'm gonna clean this out and we're gonna figure out what we can do with this. I have a bunch of these empty kind of zipper pockets. I also have a bunch of these. So we're gonna see what we can do and I'll be right back.
Am I the only one that has one of those family Facebook chats that makes you crazy? Anyway, off topic. <laughs> Squirrel. Okay, so this is more how I want my bin to look. I know it. I don't have a lot less stuff in here. In fact, I pulled four sheets of stickers out. I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm going to use them up. Um, and that's generally what I do is I go through here periodically, pull a bunch of things out. I have them in my tray on the table and I use them up. And then when they're used up or they're just stuff that doesn't look like I'm going to be able to use or I'm not interested in, um, they go in a box to go in Happy Mail or something. And then I pull new stuff out, something like some routine like that. Um, but that being said, all of my store-bought die cut images, my small collage images, and my stickers are in this bin, uh, and my sticky notes. Um, and that's perfect for me. And the label on the bin says stickers, collage, and die cuts, which is perfect. So these two binders I've had, I'm going to keep them here. I love these for my small collage images. These are uh, they're not scrappy binders, like junk journal binders. Snap something. I'll try to figure it out and leave something in the description. Maybe one of you guys knows. Anyway, I filled them with some of the pockets that go in them and also some other like zipper pockets. I've had these for a long time and I use them to store all the small collage images. They're already pre-cut. I can do some collage. I can just go in here and pull out an image. I have two binders of them and that's plenty. And I limit it to the two binders, that way I don't collect like too much collage and stuff. That being said, I do have a wall of ephemera, but anyway, I try. Anyway, I digress. Um, and we're gonna go over the ephemera wall at some point. But the small collage images are here in this binder, these two binders, and they live in here with the stickers. It's a good place for them. I know they're here, I can just pull them out, pull what I want out of it and stick it back like you saw me do. I have this big zipper pocket with um, artwork printed on Avery sticker paper, my own artwork, um, from a lot of it's from the Etsy shop. But then I have some bigger stickers that don't fit in pockets, like these ones that say peace, or this one that has the chakras on it. I have some uh, Canvas Corp, what are these, Seven Gypsies um, stickers, some of their 3D architectures. Um, these are all different kinds of stickers. Um, in categories, um, this little journal here is planner stickers, and then like for instance, these are label stickers, um, these are like butterflies and botanicals, feathers, and miscellaneous, uh, sea themed, so you get the idea. I even have Holly Hobby because I just like Holly Hobby. Um, and then these are die cuts, and again, they're sort of categorized or semi-categorized, like these are botanicals. And somewhere in here, I've got one of, here's one of leaves, just leaves. Um, these are the Tim Holtz people. And they're categorized. And I can just pull out, say, the people envelope, work on the journal at the table, use what I need, and then put the envelope back in the bin just like that. And that's gonna work perfect for me. Much better than the binders. The only thing I want in the binders are these. Those other binders were just not working for me anymore. And then the bin fits on my uh, storage um, shelf cubby system on the wall behind the camera. And I will try to get a picture and insert it here somewhere. And that's where my all of my ephemera lives. And at some point, one of the videos will um, shoot, we'll be going over um, what's in that cubby system besides these <laughs> uh, um, and um, how I organize and sort that. I will say everything's labeled in my art room. I think literally, I think everything. If there's anything that's not labeled, it's very little um, and that helps me greatly. Um, this is what I do with my sticker and store-bought die-cut storage. What do you do? I'd be interested to know. Um, everybody does it differently. It's going to depend on your space, the size of your space, the size of your collection. I really did, I know this looks like a lot, but I pared it down a lot from what I used to have as a creative memories consultant and scrapbooker back in the day. Uh, I had a lot more than this and I really just didn't enjoy it. I have very few alphabet stickers. I have, uh, I have words that I do have. 
And there may be a few alphabets in here, but there are very few. And these go with my other words, which are on the shelf behind me, because these, are, or they're on the table, these I use more. I have words cut out of magazines, and then I have these word stickers. These I use more than these. So these actually are bundled together, and they're always separate, and they're usually on the table. Um, I don't have lots of, like, um, thicker um, alphabets or any of those. I don't scrapbook. I'm, I do mixed media, I do collage, I do um, art journaling, and I want those kind of stickers and images for that kind of thing. Um, so really when you're organizing your space or reorganizing your space, you want to think about what do you really enjoy doing. I really got past the notion of having to keep things just because I spent money on it. That wasn't a good enough reason for me to have it clogging up my space and making me unhappy. So I gave it away, I sold it, I donated it to charity, and I just kept what I love. And that's like the key through this whole thing. Then once you get to that point, then you can look at your space and decide, okay, how do I want to store things so that I can find what I know I have, I can get to it easily and quickly, and I can put it back just as easily and quickly. Um, for me, those were things. I am not the artist that can create in chaos. I know there are some of you out there that love it. I can't do that. I need to have it neat and clean, and I need to be able to find my stuff. So this is what works for me. I'm loving, gonna love this, I can tell you already. Um, but what works for you? I would love if you share over in a life of art and self-expression or maybe art joy of sharing. Uh, and um, I'll link some other groups maybe in the description below where you can share this sort of thing. My group is a life of art and self-expression. There is some other links in the description below the video. Uh, one of them is for Linktree. And Linktree is just a list of links, social media links you can follow me on and, and as Shannon Green would say, stalk me on. Um, also ways you can support the free content here on YouTube or over on Facebook. There's a Patreon store, or a Patreon site, there's Amazon affiliate store, my Etsy shop, where to buy my book. I am having merch and leggings over at Teespring. There's a bunch of stuff, so check it out. Um, and, you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon if you would like notification of when new videos come out. I'll be doing more of these. Uh, if you have suggestions of specific areas of the art room you're struggling with that you'd like to see, let me know. And the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.